Alright, this is my 1982 Mazda RX-7. It's uh, automatic transmission right now. And uh, we're going to work on swapping in this manual transmission out of an 83 RX-7. As I said, I got this transmission from a junkyard so I don't know if it's any good and I mean that doesn't bode great but uh, we'll see uh, worst case scenario I just have to get another one or, or something uh, and then yeah I've got a bunch of little little bits and pieces sitting around so uh, I think the first thing I want to do is um, hook up the clutch hydraulics so here's the slave cylinder that's going to go onto the transmission itself and that'll bolt on right here and then this part is what uh, pushes in and out with the hydraulic pressure and um, engages and disengages the clutch so yeah there's that um, I'll wait to put that on until the transmission is bolted into the car just just in case it gets caught up on something. Um, let's see, you know, I just have the stock, uh, the stock soft line and the hard line from an 80, 84 and 85. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a direct fit, but I should be able to make it fit pretty easily with minimal modifications at least. Uh, and then the master cylinder. So this is what I'm going to start with the clutch master cylinder and uh, so the first thing I need to do is uh, I almost took my finger out there so it goes right here and there's this handy little uh, little block off plate I don't know if you can see that very well um, and then you come around on the inside and uh, on the inside it's, it's literally right here. So there's the brake master. And then just over there, you can see those two bolts. Oh. And uh, that little hole there, that's where, the, that's where the clutch pedal thing goes through and actually connects to the master cylinder. Got the, the, got the deep... The, 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 the deep well 12 oh yeah that's a fit okay uh, they're not very tightly on there at all that was super easy So those bolts came off super easy. That top one was maybe even a little bit loose. Now let's see about uh, how it's sealed. It's probably glued on or something. I might have to uh, pry it off. That worked really well if it's coming off the bottom there. Ow. Let's see. See what we can't do. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Heck yeah. <laughs> Vice grips are the ish. <laughs> oh, man. Nicely done. Clean okay, that stuff off. And then we'll uh Put in the the master. <laughs> slide that, slide it in there, and it just it just sits. It fits and sits, and, and therefore ships.
I mean, yeah, that is, mm, that is smooth right there. So I need to get a wrench, a wrench. Wrench who stole Christmas, try a 10. It's a 10, perfect 10, you know what I'm saying? I have to look at the torque spec. I want to say it's like, like 12, 12 foot pounds, which honestly I felt like was kind of a lot. I thought, I thought it would be in like inch pounds, but um, I mean, shoot. Uh, anyway, before I crank that down too much, I probably should double, triple confirm that that's correct. So, um, let's see, this looks, this looks totally wrong, like, but, I don't know, um, oh, oh, well, that's totally gonna work, so, yeah, there's, there's tons of space there, so that'll go together like that, and then it'll attach onto the slave, I'll probably attach it to the slave first. So I'll leave it off for now. This is cool. This is cool. I put exactly one piece on the car. I think that's where I'm going to end it for tonight. Uh, we'll see. I might uh, throw this, edit this together and put it up as is.